Hello, everyone. These are timeless messages on the start of something new. Aries season marks a brand new start on the wheel of the zodiac. So, what is new for the divine feminine and divine masculines? And happy solar return to all the Aries out there, which does include my mother and my father in heaven. I'm sending you guys lots of love. Let's get started. What is uh, new? What's coming in that's new? We're going to start in the middle here. And this is what is the collective energy, masculine and feminine collective. So as a collective, the collective I'm tuning into, this is the message to start off this new Aries season. Three monkeys. We are going to tune in to the three monkeys. Three monkeys, you are wiser than you think. You have received this card as the universe wants you to focus on your wise self. The three wise monkeys are an ancient sacred Japanese icon. Traditionally, they have represented see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. The three monkeys psychic reading card has two very different meanings. It's up to you as to what meaning you feel most represents your current situation in life. The first interpretation of this card is three wise monkeys. The universe wants you to be aware of what you are thinking as your desires are manifesting right now. This is a time for you to really think about what it is you want in your life as like attracts like. This representation is the positive side of your life and is telling you to focus on all positive factors to bring those energies back into your life. The reverse meaning of this card is three dumb monkeys not seeing, not speaking, not listening. The guidance from this representation of the monkeys indicates that you or someone around you is not actually seeing or willing to acknowledge there is a negative issue. Hence, you are not seeing, hearing, or speaking about your current situation. Now is the time to pay attention to this card so you can focus on what area of your life needs the most attention. There will be no positive outcome if you don't focus on what you want to bring into your life. Forget what you don't want. When you remove this energy, things will start to flow. That's the beginning message. Take that as it resonates. And I asked to mark the page with a card that would go with it and give some additional messages. So I'm going to show you what that is. It is the juggler. So when you look at this image of the juggler, what picture stands out to you? Is it something to do with your home, stability in the home, peace in the home? money, career, your fitness, your diet, your physical body, a child, feeling like you're running out of time, something to do with school or studies, whatever stands out to you, that's what needs to be looked at right now. Maybe you're juggling a lot of things and it's really important to focus your priorities on the things that matter the most to you. Thank you, universe, for that. I also get with the three monkeys that you may be in a situation or a situation may be coming to you in the next four weeks. So whenever you're tuning into this, the next four weeks, that you may want to like look the other way. No, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see that. I don't want, I'm not going to talk about this. Like you're just staying out of it. And that's what a wise monkey would do, right? So be discerning of what energies you're engaging in, because I know the Aries energy very well. My ex-husband is an Aries, my mother, my father, a very another prominent person early in my life is an Aries. So I know a lot about Aries. I know the light, creative, passionate, abundant, willing to take risks, 
jumping out of the box, taking leaps of faith towards their heart's desire, the light side of Aries, but I also know the darker side of Aries, which is a narcissistic energy, big time control, manipulation, um, toxicity, uh, addictions, right? Things like that. So it's like staying away from the lower vibrational things and and that's all that's not serving you, right? And really focusing on the positive aspects and allowing this new start, this new creative, passionate vitality to move through you with the Aries energy. Okay, next we're gonna tune into where the divine feminine is at, the divine feminine energy within you and the divine feminine collective. What is coming in that's new? Ooh, Lilith, the first woman. So something new, a new beginning, and Lilith comes out. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. The choice is up to you. You get to decide. Follow your heart. Listen to your body. Listen to your soul. Lilith is with you, divine feminines, guiding you. We're going to read a little bit in the book about Lilith. Lilith embodies our sovereignty to declare our desires and do what must be done in order to live them out. According to the Jewish folklore, Lilith was Adam's first wife. She was created from the same earth as Adam. So when he expected her to be subservient to him, she refused. Lilith explained to Adam, that they were equal, made by God. So when Adam insisted again on her submission, Lilith uttered the divine names and flew away. Supposedly, Adam sent angels after her to force her to return, but she was with the angel Samael, and she desired to remain with him. Ancient Jewish midrash or retellings of biblical stories portray Lilith as a demon, but contemporary feminist theologians like Judith Plaskow have incorporated women's experience and women's voices into traditional text with their own midrash. Plaskow transforms the fearsome, vilified Lilith into a wise, empowered woman. Oh, I love that. Lilith, the first woman, embodies the emotional and spiritual aspects of our unconscious or unrealized desires sensuality, and unbridled sexuality. She owns her body and soul completely. For many women, Lilith is an icon of freedom. Lilith is the first woman. She is the woman who refused to be dominated or defined by anyone or anything outside of her. Woo! This empowering energy is with you today. It is time to take your power back right now and live the life that you desire incredible and now with the power animals oracle cards we're going to tune into the divine masculine energy within you the divine masculine collective in this new beginning dear pathfinder trust your instincts to guide you through the situation so trust your instincts take the lead the path will be revealed as you take that leap of faith and start walking on it. Use your eyes, ears, and nose to gather information. Then drop your awareness into your gut, which is the seat of your instinctual self. Your senses are meant to register information in a way that can be felt in the body, which is your most reliable compass. The mind is useful, don't get me wrong, but it's much overrated and all those random or obsessive thoughts can get you in the way of pure awareness. Pure awareness means without preconceived notions, anxiety, or anticipation. Close your eyes, breathe deeply and easily, clear your mind, and you'll know what to do to find your way through. So really going within clearing out what's not serving you and trusting your instincts. That's your best bet moving forward. And the deer, the buck, the pathfinder is with you. 
Now we're going to tune into what is manifesting specifically for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Collective. What is specifically manifesting in this new start, this new beginning for the Divine Feminines? Thank you, Source. Thank you, God. Ooh, interesting. Okay. A little too chunky. They're saying these three. Six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness. Giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So this is what's coming into your world, Divine Feminines, for this new beginning. Balance, reciprocity, a gift, some advice, an inheritance. All your material needs get fulfilled in such a magical and unexpected way. So be open to receive it. The scales are coming into balance. And we have Epiphany, Archangel Razael, number nine. So endings and the highly charged spiritual number. Having divine epiphanies. It's, this is like the hermit energy, right? Or it is the hermit energy. <laughs> Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So yeah, it's really important that you go within. You trust your intuition. You trust that the angels are guiding you, that source, that God is guiding you. And when you focus on the joy and you follow that, wow, things are really going to change. And you are a light to others. So having some incredible epiphanies at this time in this new beginning, in this new start. And then we have Justice, Archangel Ragael. So another major arcana. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. It's much like the Lilith energy, like not letting anyone control her. You are in control. Justice is being served. The scales have been out of balance, right? And Stay in your truth, stay in your integrity, and justice is on your side. The karma is balancing out. You're manifesting this new beginning. And it's confirmed here with the Epiphany card and with the Six of Ariel, because this is healing, right? So healing's coming, wisdom's coming, information's coming in, right? Clarity when you go within and you really tune into the truth. And then you have the scales and balance over here. So things in the material world, in your physical body, in your physical world are finally balancing out. Beautiful. What about for the sacred masculine? New beginnings. The three of Michael is the three of swords. Release the past. You will grow with the situation. Time heals all wounds. So the heartache, the pain, the sadness, the grief, the shame, the guilt, the resentment, the disappointments, the broken hearts are being healed when you release the past and allow yourself to grow, allow your heart to expand and time will heal this. See that dove of peace coming in? Peace is coming. So I feel peace to the mental body is coming and in the heart space. And Archangel Michael is with the masculine collective here. Okay. A lot of chunkiness coming out. But we have the seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. How interesting, because this is about integrity, um, standing up for yourself, speaking the truth, standing up for injustices. And it's the same thing over here. Fight for justice and equality. So there's something about the divine feminine and divine masculine collective really rising up and knowing that we have the power to demand something different. But we have to demand it. And if we all pull together, we can. This is standing up for our own personal life in our own personal situations, but also for humanity, like big time. Like karmic justice for humanity. The more people in the light, the better. Focus on the love. So what's manifesting divine masculines is you're taking your power back. I love it. And then look at this. Woo! 
a gorgeous new cycle. The Empress, expansion, growth, divine timing. Archangel Gabriel is with you. It's time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. Wow. Prosperity. And, you, and if you can see, look, there's the deer right there in the picture. And the deer is with the sacred masculine collective helping you to move forward. And this is the masculine energy within embracing all aspects of you, the feminine and the masculine, and then take action, which would be a masculine energy. It, it really brings me back, I mean, with the deer and Lilith, like working together, that's what Lilith would do, stand up for what she believes in. She's a powerful, gorgeous, sexy, sensual goddess that is in control of her own self and empowered, taking action, taking action towards your dreams. That's what this is about. Allowing yourself to fully immerse into this healing, into this new beginning, this new cycle, the abundance, the prosperity, the love, the nourishment, the growth, the expansion. Really feel into this. Take your power back. Nobody and nothing has power over you. Remember that. Okay, I'm liking this so far. And I that that saying, not my monkeys, not my circus, that might be a good saying for um, us moving forward. Like, I'm not even going to pay attention to that crap out there. That's what I'm really feeling with the monkeys. Like, only pay attention to what's within you and what you know. Uh, ask for clarity from the divine, from God, from source, from Jesus, whoever you connect with, the angels. Ask them you'll get the clarity and trust that and and then okay so coming together the masculine and feminine collective what's working to manifest them with this karmic justice this abundant prosperous powerful new cycle the eight of raphael there is something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you a spiritual quest so following your curiosities going on a new path a healer's path learning about that, putting an effort into the material world and you're being rewarded so that you can take a break, you can take a time out. And there's something better here. You've been praying for that. You've been asking for that. There's something better here. And I feel like that this epiphany and this justice is helping with that and this balancing out in the material world. Pay attention to details at this time, contracts, pay close attention and really feel not just reading the words if you're signing contracts, but feel into the energy of it and the energy of the people that you're signing a contract with. 8-8, eight, eight, that's a strong manifestation power. And then you move from the 8 of Raphael to the 9 of Raphael. Make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So as you kind of take a break from the material, right, and you go on the spiritual quest, the eight of cups, right, you go on this new path, you learn new things, you expand, you grow. Then you're moving towards wish fulfillment, see? This is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, loyalty, peace, happiness, contentment, just elation, joy, make a wish. Oh, perfect. Look at this. 10 of Ariel, 10 of Pentacles, having it all. This is what you're on path for. Incredible heart-centered wish fulfillment, abundance, prosperity, peace, contentment. There is so much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. 
I mean, that's what Aries season is bringing in. Um, thank you. Thank you. And the bottom is the Eight of Ariel, which is interesting because in the Eight of Raphael, the Eight of Cups, I was feeling the Eight of Pentacles. Like, you know, you've been focused on your work and it is sometimes good to take a break and, and go inward, like inside of you and take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So if that's what you've been thinking about, this is your confirmation and really paying attention to what you're reading. You're going to find some information in a book and it's paying attention to those contracts and focused, right? But there's a need to take a little time out, go out in nature, meditate, learn something new. It's not just about work, right? It's about moving towards your heart's wish fulfillment as well and finding that balance. So I feel like that balance is coming. And look, eight, eight, eight. And we're in the year of the eight. And right below that is King of Gabriel. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. This is the King of Wands. This is Aries. Hello. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. And this is, you know, also Leo and Sagittarius energy. But since we're in this new start of Aries season, this is a really beautiful representation of that. Keep your eyes on the big picture here, having it all because it's coming. And some final messages for you. Guidance uh, from spirit to move you forward the next four weeks. So whatever path you're going on, whatever you're guided to work-wise, um, career-wise, creative project-wise, it's going to lead you to this having it all, this legacy, this retirement. The Maiden, 22. Demand what is yours and take back what was taken. Reclaim until you've gathered all of you. So this is you taking your power back. Empress energy. Reclaiming what's yours. That's that karmic justice that we felt in the beginning. It's happening. Balance is coming. And you are leveling up to a higher level of mastery by going all, through all of this with the 22 energy. The masters are with you. You're leveling up. You're getting back what was taken from you. It may not be in the same form or from the same person, but you're getting it back. Wow. And that could have something to do with that um, inheritance, uh, a gift. Something is coming back to you in a beautiful way right now. Okay. And then we have the maypole 24. So that's that six energy, peace, balance, beauty, blessings. I am fertile in what I seed, for there is reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive. It's harvest time. All the efforts that you've been putting in are paying off. That's also about unity, community, your tribe your people really coming together, this coming together feeling. And then we have the goat energy 13. So that's a death and rebirth. Fearless I am in the path I choose for I've never been led astray, always finding my way. And you know, this kind of makes me feel like, I know it's a goat, but kind of like a ram-like energy, Aries energy in the third eye opening. 
there is a full moon in the maiden card. There's a full moon in this card. And as I'm recording this, we are approaching the full moon lunar eclipse. So there's something about that. That's going to shift things for the entire collective, really opening up your third eye. I love this. Fearless I am in the path I choose, for I've never been led astray. Always finding my way. You will always find your way. What's meant for you is meant for you. You will always find your way back to love, back to source. And then here's a gorgeous sacred waters, another eight energy with the 35. Drunken by the swell of the sea, I can feel the blanket of her embrace. Unafraid of the presence, releasing the cords. I call her in. I call her deeply within. This goes back to that Lilith energy, being in your own energy, allowing the divine to embrace you, the love embrace you. Releasing fear, releasing the cords, the connections to the past, to the illusions, and go deep, deep within yourself. Sacred waters, your heart. And look at this. Surrender. 41 is a five. Surrender to the change. Surrender to the blessings. Surrender to prosperity. Surrender to abundance. There is nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. I mean, reach out to me, you guys. Let's do some healing. This is what I do is I help you release all of that energy. You can also do this by going out in nature, you know, really taking time to go within. That's really important. Things are opening up for you when you do this. And the, the underlying energy is Rowan, 34, 7. We got some crystals, some deer-like energies, like a kind of a hybrid of like a deer and a human, some mushrooms. And I'm not sure what that animal is down there sleeping, but has antlers so it could be a deer that's interesting that the deer keeps popping up a lot of growth a lot of stability there is no need to fear dear one protected you are and protected you will always be yes you are protected there is no nothing to fear when you surrender to the divine there is nothing to fear when you send when you surrender to your success there is nothing to fear when you surrender to love and peace and tranquility, happiness, joy, balance, stability, empowerment, integrity. Embrace it all. Focus on the growth, on the healing, on the enlightenment, on the forward movement. This is an opportunity for you to live the life that you desire. I'm sending you all so much love.